linebacker day for interviews after Ohio State football practice here at the Woody Hayes Athletic Center. I'm Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com along with Doug Lamerys and Stephen Means. Jim Knowles, several linebackers came through today. One of the most important things we learned, because you're always trying to get some verification on things you've seen, when we've seen the linebackers go through drills in practice and there's a first team, second team, third team, reliably it's been Steel Chambers at the Will linebacker, Tommy Eichenberg is the Mike linebacker. We kind of wondered coming into the preseason if can someone else move up and surpass Steel Chambers, who is a converted running back who kind of got pushed into that job last year. Will there be another Tommy Eichenberg, Cody Simon position battle at Mike linebacker? Because Cody Simon won that for a good portion of last year and had sort of moved Eichenberg aside until he got hurt. But today Jim Knowles sort of started his breakdown of the defense and certainly his breakdown of the linebackers by saying, Steel Chambers and Tommy Eichenberg are stabilizing linebacker for this team, and this team needs stability at linebacker. So I think that's an important thing. That's the two guys I would expect to see lining up at linebacker against Notre Dame in three weeks or whatever it is, and I think it's on them to bring that stability. That Last year, some of those same guys were in those same spots, and it wasn't a very stable position. That's the job they have to get done this year. Doug, what kind of jumped out to you from the interviews today? So I was asking all the linebackers, like, who's the fastest linebacker, who's the strongest, smartest, funniest? And Chip Trainum got a lot of votes for fastest, and he got some of the votes for strongest. So it's like, okay, well, he's fast, he's strong. Well, that seems pretty good. Transfer, played running back, he's playing linebacker at the college level for the first time. It just makes you wonder, like, okay, if he's not there yet, because it seems like he's the backup will to Steel Chambers right now, but what might he be as he continues to learn this position like we saw with steel chambers last year that over the course of the season the more comfortable he got at linebacker the more reps he got now here he is he's the locked in starter so chip train i think is an interesting dude continue to keep your eye on him because the guys in the room with him are saying like he's an incredible athlete and we're just waiting i think for everything else it's reasonable he was his running back in the Pac-12, and now he's going to be a Big Ten linebacker. But, man, if that clicks, there could be something there. Do you think it's something that could click to the point where he becomes a starter? Is it something that you envision in your head right now, like more of a, a package scenario, just finding a way to get him on the field to make an impact? I just think he really could be on the Steel Chambers path, and, and that might just mean he gets more snaps at will. Maybe he starts sharing it with Steel Chambers. Maybe, I don't know if he takes his job or whatever, but just if he's – maybe a next level athlete who's on it and we saw it happen last year when a guy who and steel chambers is a great athlete when he got comfortable then it was go time i would just say not now but maybe by the middle of the season not a package but just real will reps and also the way he gets described says to me that you're describing kind of like a potential special teams monster like a guy that can get down and cover stuff and and break stuff up and and cause fumbles that sort of thing uh interesting guy to, to pay attention to steven cj hicks Another guy at, at Will Linebacker, the youngest guy at Will Linebacker, but a guy that everybody is very interested about this fall. Yeah, he might be the most talented guy in the room, but he's also young and doesn't know what he's doing yet. And whether it's now, today, or in the spring, or any time we've asked about C.J. Hicks, you can seem to get the same vibe of the ceiling is high, but he's still figuring it out. He's still thinking a little too much when he's out there, which can happen when you're a young guy still learning at this level. But it's when does that click, right? Does it click? I don't know, on Thursday's practice, or does it not click until the middle of the season? I, 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 so it's going to be interesting to watch his progression. Does he start to move up that depth chart? I think a lot of that's going to be decided by how quickly does he learn to know what he's doing out there and stop thinking so much. And as um, Jim Knowles put it, he's got a lot of tools. He's just got to stop thinking so much and use those tools. And so how quickly can he get that part out of his system? And then we start to see the ceiling that I think we all know he has as a five-star recruit. Roger Mitchell is his roommate this summer at uh, as long as we're over at the hotel and said that he is he's he's saying the same things Jim Knowles is like I asked him like are we talking too much about CJ Hicks he's like no like it's it's legitimate and but he's got to get the head on straight and that's not because not not CJ Hicks is a head case it's like getting him to where he knows the game and doesn't have to think out there on the field very much and could just unload these uh, unleash this physical uh, ability that he has and a lot of people here are excited about him it's not just fans and I think that's probably a good sign for the fans. Uh, much more about this on Buckeye Talk. Get that wherever you can find podcasts and get the text 614-350-3315 throughout camp and on into the season with Buckeye Talk.